Expulsion from the U.S. Senate is rare, but Roy Moore's refusal to drop his run for an Alabama seat amid sexual assault allegations has led fellow Republicans to suggest kicking him out of Congress before the election even takes place. If he wins the December 12th election to fill the seat vacated by Attorney General Jeff Sessions and winds up expelled, Moore would become the first senator bounced from office for sexual misconduct. Only 15 senators have been tossed out by their colleagues. The last expulsion was in 1862. Since then, about a dozen senators have faced expulsion proceedings, mainly for corruption. Some have resigned before a final vote, but none were ousted. Who has called for Moore's expulsion? Colorado Senator Cory Gardner whose voice carries a lot of weight in the Republican Party. As chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Committee, Gardner oversees campaign fundraising for the Senate GOP majority. The committee ended its fundraising agreement with Moore last week. On Monday, the Republican National Committee terminated its own fundraising pact with Moore. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell and other party leaders have called on Moore to end his candidacy following allegations of sexual misconduct when he was in his 30s. He was accused of molesting a 14 year old girl, sexually assaulting a 16 year old girl, and making advances on three other teenage girls. Moore has denied the allegations and vowed to stay in the race. With uncertain prospects for a late right in candidacy by another Republican, expulsion is a last resort solution designed to spare the party the embarrassment of seating more in the Senate.